What is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new Dragon Ball Legends video on Dragon Ball Central. Today, we're going to be talking about the most recent data dump from the update, which has a whole bunch of information on the new units that are coming in the anniversary update. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, the EXs are probably going to be good, too, and there are new EXs coming to the game with this next update. But with that said, we are going to be focusing on the sparkings that are coming with the next banners, and I definitely think there's a lot to talk about. I don't want to make the video too, too long, so that's basically why. Now, first and foremost, we got to start off with the first one that was shown. That is Omega Shenron. Now, the first thing you're going to notice with all of these guys, actually, is that their power levels are insane when compared to the other characters in the game. They are immediately going to be top tier as far as their pure stats are concerned so as far as you know the rest of their passives and uniques and things like that like that really doesn't matter like it does but they're they would have been good as beat sticks as just pure stat beasts on their own so anything else is a bonus and with that said you look at both of the held cards by omega shenron they both have destroy card effects on them a strike and a blast on here so it is going to be sort of a varied held card lineup here which is not the best usually but you know what in this case i don't think it really matters too much especially since there's going to be a very valuable effect added on to it now we're also going to see uh strike attack up for gt tag here and that eventually gets added to regen tag it looks like it actually leaves GT, gt tag behind but i don't know if that's going to be true or not again this is sort of just a preliminary thing it was the data dump from the update and it isn't actually in the game yet so to speak because you can't pull them yet it's behind a barrier and they can still make changes before they do enable those banners now with that said uh it is going to scale very very nicely as you upgrade your z ability and it's going to go on to a lot of teams obviously if it includes gt and regen i mean that's really really solid there are a lot of great opportunities here for teams to use with them now do i personally know what those are right now no i need to get updated on that but i really think there's a lot of potential here because regen has been a historically very solid tag and gt is going to be continually added to over time and currently looks like it has a decent amount of support so regen and gt together that's really solid now unfortunately looking down the page we are not going to have passive or active ability information here which is unfortunate but you know what that's totally fine we're getting a lot of information to talk about and i think that that's really solid now moving on guys we've got a green unit that is going to be super saiyan 4 full power goku who's a blast arts beast absolute monster towards the top of blast attack values for sure blast defense also very solid strike defense very solid strike attack not lacking too much considering it's at the 90th percentile as far as the whole game is concerned despite you know not really being focused on strike arts cards so really not going to be lacking too much in damage output for sure uh, health is lacking a tiny bit compared to the overall best health in the game units but still at the same time is again over the 90th percentile so really really solid there and holds two blast arts cards definitely solid too moving on we have got tag saiyan going to be added to the gt tag you get originally when you first pull him so uh, yeah, really solid stuff there. That is most likely going to be Blast Arts damage buff. So, uh, yeah, 38%. Very, very solid. I definitely see this being used very, very well if you have a team that it goes on, which if it's a pure Saiyan tag team buffer then uh we've definitely got a lot of options here now moving on we have got yellow rage trunks who's a monster to be completely honest just you you don't get the full display of exactly what's going on here by looking at the attack values in comparison to the rest of the game 81st percentile and then uh 94th percentile on blast attack there i mean not amazing defenses obviously right at the top 100 best strike defense in the entire game health best health in the entire game blast defense almost the best blast defense in the entire game so defensive monster as it is but on top of that you're going to be able to switch into rising rushes tank them with cover change uh damage cuts which is insanely good has varied arts cards held with no extra abilities on them which is totally fine i mean it's it's not ideal i would say but it's definitely not that big of a deal especially if you're gonna be have a team you're gonna have a team that's focused entirely on taking advantage of these defensive capabilities and you also have defense parameter up shot rate so that's going to be the blast defense that's going to be buffed by this and then it goes to vegeta family and future so that is really really solid on top of that you're also going to be seeing a blast attack up added once you get to the third z ability buff so 
worth mentioning because on top of that we already know from the stream that there are various defensive buffs you get with rage trunks he honestly is going to be an absolute beast and i would not be surprised to see this dude at the top of the meta for sure just with whatever team you can make to surround him next up guys we have got fusion zamasu now this in particular is going to be one of the more interesting cases from this entire banner release i think in my opinion you, you guys may disagree i'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below what you think about fusion zamasu but we've got quite a bit of information about him again from the stream and from this particular page we've got going on here from the data dump now you may be looking at this stat lineup and you're going chicken there are some that look a lot better than that what are you talking about and this blast attack is pretty good but the rest of it you know maybe leaves a little bit to be desired the health is good but the defenses are down a little bit from all-time highs and strike attack is definitely not amazing now what are you talking about well I definitely think that this is the most comparable unit that we've had since the release of Super Vegito 2 Super Vegito if you look at all of his passive abilities that he's going to have you go to the stream you look at that slide in particular you're going to notice pretty much every single ability is identical to super vegeto but it's not going to be on the same level as super vegeto because they're always power creeping they're always one-upping themselves when they release these new units i have to imagine that we're going to be seeing a better newer power creeped updated version of super vegeto and you guys know despite having lower stats compared to the newest meta units whenever they came out after super vegeto was out for a while he still was competitive because he buffed himself so so well he went on any team that he could fit into and he made it better because he was so good utility wise he had great cover change value he had great value after buffs to where other units really couldn't compete with him at least not for a while so in this case i think we're going to see something similar maybe not the, to the same level because super vegeto was hyped because he's super vegeto okay he could have been attached to any move set any skill set any uniques any passives anything at all and he would have been massively massively overplayed same as broly because broly is very very overhyped as well but fusion zamasu maybe not in the same realm we'll have to see I'm not sure though, but I think purely based on just whatever it's attached to, these skills are going, going to come together very, very well and be very, very powerful. And finally, guys, we have got Legends Limited, unfortunately, but we all knew it was coming. Blue Vegito Blue. Now, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito is an absolute beast. Strike attack 99.96, so just below the highest strike attack in the game. Pretty much the highest power in the game as you guys can see all in all going to be an absolute monster but even going down farther a little bit you'll notice oh wait what is this strike damage up strike cards strike cards with a 20 percent strike damage inflicted for two timer counts effect when used he already has the highest strike output of damage in the game his buffs are gonna be insane he has fusion warrior strike attack buffs and strike defense buffs at one star ability okay when you go into buffs you get more and more god key it's it's a little bit weird okay it gets a little screwy it goes god key and then it goes into future which that may just be something that they're doing now where they have three different tags that it can Im impact or affect not really sure what's going on there but with all that we know about Vegito Blue, I really think that he's going to be game breaking. I think that this is going to be the by far, and I think that's kind of a given at this point because Legends Limited characters are always going to be on the bleeding edge for the most part. Beerus removed from that conversation, but beside the point, I think anyone could have told you Vegito Blue was going to be absolutely busted on release and it just looks like this coupled with what we saw in the trailer and what we know is it's just confirmation really it's going to be absolutely a monster and 20 percent damage buff on already the highest strike attack in the game or close to it i mean this thing is going to be a monster in pvp it's going to be unstoppable and the more stars you get on him i mean it gets worse and worse and worse for your opponent let's let's just look at that uh, just a cool 259,000 strike attack is that all is that all is that all that's that's it it's the same type of thing when they released super broly and everybody's like what the heck this dude is op why did they release this guy so early this is too early what are you doing and and this exact thing is probably going to be in the same vein of that you know what i mean it's going to be so so overpowered that i don't know if the meta is going to be able to adapt for a really long time i think that this is probably going to be your best value for crystals spent just like if you got super broly you got 
a ridiculous amount of use out of him before he became relatively irrelevant. Uh, and then Super Vegito, like, you got at least six months of use out of him before he became not even irrelevant, just not as good to use as other meta units that were coming out. You know, the team wasn't on the toppest of top tier six months later, but you really can't say that for very many units. And I think that this is probably going to be an example of one that sticks around for the long haul. So just keep an eye out for my Vegito Blue Pull Rates video because I am going to be going ahead and using the information from the poll I did on the community tab a few days ago. And I'm going to go ahead and take all that and figure out your chances of pulling Vegito Blue with however many crystals you have. So hopefully that can help you guys be a little bit more informed and manage your expectations on if you think you're going to pull them or not. Obviously, nothing is guaranteed, but uh, I definitely think it's better to have all the information before you spend a bunch of currency that has actual value to it. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make that video as soon as I possibly can and keep an eye out for it. But I think this guy is going to be your best value, honestly, for the next few months at the very minimum. And he's going to be meta relevant probably for a lot longer than that. But yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Let me know in the comments. What do you think the best character introduced in this next update is going to be? I personally, I think that everybody's going to agree that Vegito Blue is going to be on another level, Z tier and above on its own, okay? So I'm talking about the four of them. We got Omega Shenron, we've obviously got Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we've got Rage Trunks, and we've got Fusion Zamasu. Personally, I think Fusion Zamasu is going to be the best out of those four. I think he's going to be the second coming of Super Vegito, and I think it's going to be absolutely busted because of all of his tags and all the synergies he's going to have. We don't have any real information on how all those passives are going to work, specifically based on, you know, actual percentages or anything yet, so we can't make any total, you know, educated guesses on how it's going to implement into the meta just yet, but I think personally fusion zamasu is going to be really 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 meta breakingly good so uh, i will see you guys very soon for the next one until then have a fantastic day again Peace.